And there we go. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to what most likely is the final chapter of book one. And so before we get into the more entertaining and fun stuff, Rafiki. Yes. What do you have to tell us for this week? Well, I mean, the same things that I tell every week. If we're trying to take over the world. Uh, right? No. Yes, no, we are affiliated with a few people, and I usually have a little thing that I sometimes prepare for that, but fuck it, I, I cannot find a document, so I'm just gonna just do it from memory. First and foremost, we are affiliated with Die Hard Dice. Uh, if you do exclamation mark dice in the chat, it will give us a few links. Uh, one is uh, the product of the month on which we get a bit of kickback, which I'll uh, channel and shows like this with it appreciated if you choose to uh, add it to your order uh, you can uh, always use the code grc10 to get 10 percent off your order or if you choose to buy something else regardless i recommend that you choose uh to use that discount code so that you can save, save some money uh this month is the elicia changeling with gold dice set it is a pretty set that looks like stones so it's really really cool i like it um, so yeah, go check it out. And you, we also have our affiliate link, which gives you automatically that 10% off at checkout if you're like me and forget to put in the code. Next, we are affiliated with It Point Press. If you do exclamation short mark HPP in the chat, I uh, will give you our little affiliate link. If you choose to purchase something from there, we I recommend that you use that link as uh, we get a bit of a kickback and it helps support the channel. After that, we are also affiliated with 1985 games. They make really cool 2D terrain and deck story and also minis and they also recently have a lovely Kickstarter. There's still six days to go. Uh, so if you choose to uh, uh, get something from 1985 games, uh, we advise to use our affiliate link. It will help us. And use the code GRC10 at checkout for 10% off. And same thing for that uh, VHS inspired uh, dice sets from their Kickstarter. They're fully funded, but if you want to get your, your ends on it and back the Kickstarter, well, here's a link. Uh, go support them. They make cool stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you have not seen yet on our social, um, Later this month, we're back with our charity weekend, so that's going to be a lot of fun games. I'm going to be running the expense again, mm -hmm. so I like that system. Uh, thanks for saying that, because it just <laughs> reminded me. <laughs> yeah, I get the fun of being actually in that game. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's going to be fun. I, 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 Anyways, I absolutely um, love the H system. Oh, it, it sounds so interesting. Yeah, the age system is pretty good. Anyways, um, hi, just for introductions. I am Kitty, your hangry um, GM for tonight. Uh, so yeah, I get to play everything else and the big bad villain tonight. So, Kelly. Yes, hi. Your introduction. Yes, hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I play Sunny. You're totally not completely cranky barbarian who's fueled by rage and a love of pastries um and both of our pronouns are she her okay next up is uh rafiki hi i'm frank aka rafiki and i'm playing as always atos the uh slightly tall leonin paladin and legally three quarter cover and both her pronouns are he him Okay, Fair, you're up. Hi, I'm Fair, and tonight I'll be playing uh, New Valdustane, your arcane trickster rogue, and our pronouns are she, her. 
And now it is Juice's turn. Oh, hey, hi, hello. I am Juice, no pronouns, just Juice, and I will be playing Ocasio, the Harangun Gloomstalker Ranger, currently alchemist in disguise. I uh, his pronouns are DM. I forgot we're alchemists. An alchemist, <laughs> yeah. How how long does that last, by the way? An hour. An, an hour. hour. <laughs> I love this. I love everything about this. Mm -hmm. I forgot. They both look the same. Yeah. And now it's Trieste's turn. Turn to uh, Hello, I'm Trieste. I play Rostri. My pronouns are she, her. Uh, Rostri's are any. And she is our human cleric. But not that kind of cleric um, for the evening. Not the stereotype, the true cleric. And last I don't but know not that. least, <laughs> Witchy. Sorry. Hello, uh, I'm Witchy. I play Janella. Both our pronouns are she, her. And uh, it's going to be a doozy from that, guys. Uh, that's all I got to say. Yeah, I kind of gave her a little bit of heads up for reasons. So yeah. Anyways, so last uh, time, well, last week, our intrepid adventurers, or I should say rescuers, went out into the city of Damarill with pretty good direction and idea of where possibly uh, the location of our dear cat is, and by stroke of luck and good rolls even behind the scenes, they were able to find the correct place and enter the domicile. That outside looks like abandoned, but inside looked well lived in. And so they continued in, searching. One going, hey, show yourself, it's the law. Which everybody in Damrell knows is not right. Is not an actual law, though some of you now believe it is. And so, as you guys are exploring, you find stairway going down into the basement. Seems to be much bigger than most basements. And so, you guys continue to the very last door. You open it to see the fairy godmother giving you a smirk as she actually was able to succeed just before she disappeared you guys in a quick thinking and attempt to save chesh you were able to make her drop the cage that held him as you were trying to free him you guys took a break returned it to janella as he started to debate how to free him, what you're to do next. Janella heard a whisper, turned around, went to the portal, and vanished with Cheshire along the way. And now all of you are staring dumbfounded, shocked, confused. Yeah about what the uh, fuck just happened. I'm mostly dumbfounded because I didn't get an opportunity attack on Janella. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, to grapple you. Come on now. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. But also um, to attack you. <laughs> did she just... Did anyone else see that? Did she... It was kind did... of hard to miss. What the fuck? Seconded. Can we, like, maybe make, like, a perception or insight check to see if, like, there was something off with her? Or did, would we have noticed? I would say insight. Okay. This is, I mean, oh, does she do this yes. often? The insight majority of you a, were kind of oh, shocked, oh. going, like, wait, what? what's going on? What are 23. you- 23. You mean often, like, walking to run a portal? I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, it's the first time I've seen mm. it. I 
got a one. Okay. You got a one. You got a 23. Um, anybody else doing insight check? No, Sunny is not insightful. She was distracted that her strength wasn't able to open. Mm -hmm. It's cage. very frustrating, right? That we're not able to break the cage. Can I have you all mute? Or uh, deafen, except for Novell. And then I'll go... Uh, oh, there we you go. You hover over Got yourself. It. Yeah. Yeah. And I will message you in chat. Okay. Once everybody is not able to hear me anymore. I would say, Rafiki, just remove your uh, headphones and I will... Okay, yeah. So, Novell. You're the only one that noticed this. You, as she was walking away, her face was dead pale. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing that you noticed were her eyes. The they same like... description that your sister gave you of the fairy godmothers. Just the flat, life, semi lifeless. Somewhat lifeless, yet. You now realize with that 23 that she's trapped. Like inside herself? Mm hmm. That she cannot get away. Okay. Okay. And that movement that, even though it was very smooth, you've heard about this given your um, growing up stories and reading books and such like that. And that's one reason why it dawned on you, going, oh, is this her curse? Oh. Okay, I'm going to ask everybody else to come back. Okay. We're good. Back. Everybody Back. can hear me now. Clap once if you could hear Kelly. If you could hear. You don't. If you if you ca if you clap, I swear I will manifest in your house. <laughs> I was there will be misfortune coming to you when you least expect it. Anyways, uh, so with that new information, what are you going? To we do? have to go. We have to go right now. She's it's, she's not herself. We have to go. Uh. I mean, what? Nouvelle just leaps into the portal. She's <laughs> gone. We have Same. to go get her. She's not herself. She's. I think, like, as we're like, as we move, I'm like, she's trapped inside her own body. She's, she's like, charmed. Like those people I was telling you about, the ones who have been like indoctrinated. Oh. Crikey! Just kidding. Did she find religion like in the middle of this? Chamber thing? You all Zoom. have very, very, <laughs> like everybody's very just like strange quiet. lives. <laughs> no, no, this is like, I think it has, it has something to do with her curse, I think, but she's, it's like she's under some sort of spell. She's not herself. She's the one that casts the spells. Okay. What? What? Mm -hmm. She's being manipulated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are we already on the other side? Have you all gone through? Is my question. Uh, yeah, I'm leaping. I'm yeah, yeah I'm okay. gone. So, um, I'm not just gonna leave a party member to go through a portal with a by herself. Oh my she god, I like how we choices. I'm gonna make poor life choices. I have I have questions about these two chunky dudes. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get fun. I can't wait. So you guys all uh, Sunny is left just... alone in the rune chamber, apparently, kind of looking around going. So I have the option option to not go through that thing. 
I mean, yes, you do. My house is three blocks away. Yeah, I would say for Sunny, you were like, I don't want to do this. But somewhere in the back of your mind, you have the image of your mother looking at you, disappointed. And the honey buns. Not sad, leaving. just disappointed. Because of the disappointment. No. Sunny Damn. through the portal. Wow. Damn. That's the DM telling you to get your ass in gear. <laughs> well, I mean, there's... They're gonna need a... For your actions, so I have to give them. And somebody would know disappointment of mother means lower amount of honey buns. Could you say it's. Mm -hmm. For Acasio? It's uh, a okay. Sunny's version. <laughs> So, and at first you're not sure what exactly you're going to be with how gaudy this woman is, how extravagant, how really out there. You think it's going to be something kind of more, almost like a rue house with weird shapes and such, but it's actually quite shocking to find yourselves in what appears to be a very natural we created garden where nature to weave itself together and you see this fountain that is burbling quietly as sparkling water begins to pour down and beyond it, you from your uh, vantage point, which you realize you're up probably about 10 feet, you see the still standing quite rigid, her face blank. She hands it to the fairy god mother. You also notice two figures, one heavily armored, the other lightly armored. Both have very dead panda expressions from what you can see. Their forms rigid. And you watch as the fairy godmother looks over and goes, Oh, well, I'm so happy you all could join us. It'll be so nice to be able to get rid of some loose ends. So... Hmm. Okay, uh, Sunny leans over to Nouvelle. Yes. Can I, can I stab her, like in the face? Oh, that's a, that. Uh, yeah, that's why like we're right here. through we're gonna, her stupid face. Gonna, um, what would Janela say? We're gonna, um, we're gonna fuck her up. As long as she shuts up. Yeah, I can't stand it when they keep talking. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, can we just get on the with it, you know? The monologuing, the monologuing, yeah, the monologuing, yeah. you just want to just cut their heads off. Like, oh my god, just maybe just send a letter next time. <laughs> I like to imagine that she's still monologuing and we're just having this Oh no, she actually has stopped <laughs> as she's kind of looking at you. And she's like, well, I was actually going to monologue and try it out because you know how villains are, they always have to do it, but... Fuck it. You're you're doing it right now. You're literally doing it right now. That's literally. And you just watch as her face goes deadpan. One hundred percent. You've you've become the thing which you hate. That makes you the villain in this scene. Just FYI. Yeah. I think she already knows that. I mean, I hope so because she is but, but, the villain. Uh, There's no take back. That. Please continue. Continue. Ocasio. No. Can I have you all roll me <laughs> initiative? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me one second. 
Actually On a scale of one to ten, I got an eleven. I mean, Sunny just doesn't have a lot of patience for pretentiousness. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're gonna Is... do something, do it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna go from the bottom. Kelly, what did you roll? What did Sunny get? Nineteen. Okay. Now, Atos, what you get? Seventeen. That, aren't you? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rushi was eleven. Nivelle, what did you get? Seven. Seven eleven. <laughs> I love you all. Yo, now we gotta get some slushies after this. Okay, uh, Ocasio, what did you get? 16. A 16? Okay. You were... You were 7. Janela, what were you? 18 for Janella. And you were... Okay. Okay. So, at the very start of the turn, before you guys are able to do that, as you guys are saying this, you suddenly feel the ground beneath your feet begin to rock. Can I have you all roll me uh, reflex savers? Not reflex, uh, dexterity saves. Let me go. Uh, dex save. Um, 13 for Sunny. Uh, I crit, so that's a 28. 21. Okay, 21. Uh, 17. Okay, 16 17. for Athos, 17 for Ocasio, and is it possible to use a reaction to see if this is a result of someone casting a spell? I will allow it. Would that be Arcana or Perception? It would be Arcana. Janelle got a 15. Janelle, you're fine. You don't have to roll this. I, I assumed I just did it for funsies. <laughs> if you were with the group, I... yes, you would have passed. Okay, well... What did you get? Uh, I'm I'm distracted with the plan of what I wanted to do that I don't notice anything because I only got a six. Okay. You're kind of shocked because this is weird how it is. You're all able to actually um, keep your footing. You feel like a magical force trying to grab you, but you're able to kind of shift just right where you don't feel it. It's down just a little bit. Uh, can you guys hear the music okay? Or a little higher? I don't hear anything now. I don't hear it. Oh, now, now I do. Okay, there. The fun of doing that behind the scenes stuff. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot we have our own individual sliders. Yes. Yeah, they, it's, they moved it, so you have to like. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you have to redo it. Downside of being one of the main people. Anyways, uh, first up is um, Sunny. And please okay. note that in this section here, that is a 10 foot drop. Sorry, okay. I'm trying to zoom out enough to see everything. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 foot, that's a 10 foot drop, the line, right? Yes, the line right here is a 10 foot drop. Like a drop for them or a drop for us? Like, is it a cliff for them? So you guys are going down okay. uh, 10 feet. So. so they're like in the ho-ho, right. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, well, in that case, Sunny will use both of her actions to run, which is going okay. to get me right up to the fountain. Okay. So that'll, that'll get me pretty close. Okay. Uh, just roll me a quick, uh, dexterity save or, um, acrobatics, just to make sure you're able to land. <clears throat> And who knows, if you're all well, you might actually That's a get... natural 20. 
It's a hero you, landing. You basically you drop down superhero you roll, landing, <laughs> and you're actually able to gain two uh, another square worth of movement. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Deal with it. While you were monologuing, I was running. I guess I don't know. There you go. All set. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you want to do? Use your reaction for anything you want to try? No, no. Nope. Sunny just... doesn't have a lot of reactions beyond stab. You still have a bonus okay. action. No, I used both my actions action. to run. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. use it both. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, she did a full round. Yep. So, my okay. dear Janella. Yeah. Um. You know what to do. I do, and I fucking hate it. Uh, okay, she's gonna attack Sunny. Um, she's gonna cast, um, she's gonna save Hex, but she's gonna cast, uh, Eldritch Blade. Okay. <laughs> That's a natural one. <laughs> Does an <Okay>. eight hit? <laughs> oh, Sunny, Sunny kind of dodges it and is like, the hell are you doing? Okay. Now do you have one or two, how many... Eldritch Blast do you have? I believe I just have one. Let me check. Oh, wait, no. We're fifth level. I get two. Okay, I can roll yeah. again. Um, Wait, no. I don't roll for don't, the second one. Don't sound two. so excited about uh, it. I, you do roll. No, you, you do roll, roll for you both. Do roll? Okay. You roll for yeah. both. I, I, I don't play Warlock often if it's not obvious. That's, <laughs> that's a natural 20. There it is. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Um. Do you want me to roll and then double? Or... Yep. Uh. Okay. Double the dice. Double the dice. Okay. Uh. Where's my other detail? Uh. That's thirteen plus three, so sixteen points of damage. Trust me when I say Sunny shakes it off. Okay. Okay. Uh, I do want to make sure. I just double check something real fast. Uh, you did add the bonus ability that was granted to you, correct? I did not, but if you want me that to, is, I can. That is also doubled. Okay. All right. Let me roll that then. Uh, that's an additional seven then. Okay. So next up is Octopus. Okay. Roll me that acrobatics check. Yeah, you make it pretty fine. It's only 10 feet. Oh, is that your turn? Okay. Let me see here. I need to do a quick thing. There we go. Do you... They have changed things on me. Oh. So, a fairy godmother pulls back with a 
a vicious smile and flies up about uh, 20 feet. You know, that was quite fascinating. Janela, would you be a dear and attack your lion friend over there? Uh, Janela, can I have you uh, make attacks against Atos? Actually, first, I need you to roll um, wisdom save at disadvantage. I forgot to do that with you. By the way, Janela, you're muted. If you've been talking. It was an 18 plus 3. Okay. Uh, no, this is the... Uh... And you did do it at disadvantage, correct? I did. I rolled an 18 and a 19. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. So, you feel your curse start to sink in. You put your hand out to cast, but you're able to kind of pull yourself back and hold yourself back from that attack. You have one sure. success. Whoa. That makes her pissed. Oh, Janelle, darling. Steve. Can you attack the woman in front of you? Would you be a deer? That would be bad thing. Steve. You watch as Steve steps up, looking very intimidating towards Sunny. He tries to he he tries to look intimidating towards Sunny. Oddly enough, even oddly enough, there's something in the back of your mind that actually is kind of scared. Even though your eyes are telling you one thing, your instinct is telling you beware and let's see okay he's going to take his great sword off and she's going to attack you uh let's see he kind of woofs it but does a 13 hit nope okay and you watch as he uh, even though he missed he still has this extremely deadpan stare Okay, that's it for her turn. Okasu, you are up. Alrighty, measuring something out real quick. Oh no. Okay. Ah, let me refresh. She's saying this loud enough for all of us to hear, yes? Yes. How high above the ground is she? Let's see, you are still up on the ridge, so you're 10 feet. I would say from your line of sight, she would be 20 feet more. So everybody on the uh, ground floor oh, would be 30 feet. You are 20 feet up from you, for angle-wise. Okay, 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 okay. In that case, okay, okay. All right. I would like to cast silence. Fucking sacrificing all of my gloomstalkery awesome shit for this. Personal choice, I'm aware. Uh, but Where I would like centered? to cast silence centered on the center of the fountain, which I believe a 20 foot radius would currently cover everybody around it, except for her in the air. And I would like to cast it, like, if it's, I don't know if there's, like, a central point, but I would like to cast it basically, like, the point is the very tip of whatever most elevated point is on it. So it would be right about here. I see, 25, yeah. 
because that would be 40 feet. Oh wait, didn't I get a, didn't I get a new thing? I think I did. Nah, I'm not going to spend time going for that, but okay, so it would be right about, when you're trying to do things. Shapes. It would be one square to the left of Sunny to one square to the right of Atlas. Yeah. And that radius. It's like trying to make sure this circle is proper. I believe I can grab it, can't I? So it would probably be centering right about there. Let me see. The fun. No, I need to go one, one step bigger. Oh, come on, let me grab you. Right? Oh, uh, they do, but... There we go. There, I believe. Okay, there we go. So that is the correct yeah. one that I need. Yay. Come on. Yep, right size and then just adjusted placement, but we all kind of get what I'm going for there. Um... Uh, so silence is there. Uh, yes. What level spell is this? Second. She's going to use her reaction. Fucking you. Counterspell. Oh, wait. No, she won't. I have to look something up about silence. Give me one second. Ooh. Go for the dice, everyone. Remember, just one dollar from each of you. Or one dollar from a hundred people. That's a hundred dollars. And it's just one dollar. Spread the word. Get Bring more people in here. Even if it's just a pop-in, donate and go. Okay, anyways. Yeah, actually, she kind of watches you. Tilts her head. Shrugs. Okay. I don't know. Would she know that I cast that spell there? Because I didn't affect her. Oh, she knows. So I cast something. Okay. There's one uh, thing that I would say, Rashti. Given, uh, roll me a intelligence check. Given your angle and everything, seeing what's going on. Just real fast. Since Bukaki is right next to you. 16. Seeing this and seeing her reaction, you realize that things might not be as they usually are out in the, um, back on the other side, because this is probably her domain. And certain things have certain rules that the person who creates it since it's a demiplane you don't know what those rules are or what possible effects could be when it comes to magic okay so is that your turn no uh i would like to find an area maybe under these trees that are to the left of me any area that looks like it may have some uh, let me see if it's dim light or darkness. Oh. Doesn't look like there's anything dark nearby, huh? Gloomstalkering is not going to work for me today. Oddly enough in this area, it's there's sunlight, but it seems to be coming from everywhere, which makes things great, weird. Great. And you're, It's like, where's the sun? You me. look up and it's just this kind of rainbowish pearlescent look and you're like the fuck yeah, i'm done okay uh rushy you're up is the portal persistent that we just came through it's flickering a little bit and you can notice that there are some cracks within it like on the other side so you're not 
we're kind of wondering if it's due to this plane. Possibly something is wrong with it, but you're not sure. Given your last week's uh, roll as well as this last roll. Um, so Rostri is going to, uh, Rostri is going to go ahead and cast, um, Guiding Bolt. Okay. Um, she's going to just sort of go up to, oops, I need to switch. Um, she's going to kind of go up to the edge. Okay. Um, and cast Guiding Bolt, so she, uh, is kind of just flinging light, like, kind of holds up a hand and light kind of drips off of her glaive and onto her fingers, and she, like, flings this light toward, what's her face, Monologue McGee, and... Gets a <clears throat> twelve to hit. Uh, it misses. But at first, you have that idea of your magic coming like that. But instead of light, it actually drips like water, like uh, fresh sea water. And you go to cast it and release it, and you watch as it has this kind of uh, cerulean look to it. And it has the reminiscence of a strong wave going forward. And you just watch as she kind of just moves out of the way, looks confused, looks back at you. And in the back of your head, you hear, I am. Sorry, darling, I, um, I'm the one that's doing it today, uh, oh shit, sorry. And, you know, this is one of the other gods, goddesses. Um, she's also gonna, like, kind of go over her shoulder and, and sort of, like, I don't, I don't think... I don't think whispering will quite work, but like kind of like hiss to Nouvelle and to Ocasio, like, um, we need to get her back to the other plane. We need to get her ass back through this portal. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. So that is your turn. Uh, let's see. We did get five gifted subs to power up uh, the players. Uh, all of you, while well, here, oddly enough, you feel a kind of warmth coming from the surrounding area. And you watch as um, these kind of silvery blue dust comes up and sinks into your body all of you will now gain six temporary hit points okay so next up is let's see this is steve steve is up okay time to pull up those stats for him Computer, would you just please give me what I want? It's great when my computer is like, no. There we are. Okay, let's see, what is he going to do? No, he's not going to do that. Ah, oh, he's going to go for another um, attack with the greatsword. Okay, that would be a... Math, 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 that would be... Uh, does a 26 hit? G. 
Yes. Okay. Oh, I forgot the ability. Ah. So that is... That would be 21 points of slashing damage. Okay. And you watch as his form shimmers for a second and then goes back to being solid. You don't know what happened. Next up is Nouvelle. Okay. So I heard what Rostri said. I'm trying to think of anything I can... It's not really much I could do from here, I think, to, like, get her to want to come through the portal. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to drop down, and can I, like... Can I hide behind, like, this bush or tree or whatever the fuck it is? What is it? Um, A tree? Let's see. Which one is it that you're looking for? Uh, that actually is um, flowers. Um, oh, is it a big? It's just not a big flower bush. It's uh, if you've ever seen, uh, yeah, it's like a very large flower bush. It's about let me see, what did I write here? It's about six feet high, and it's actually um, you could probably hide in there if you wanted, it, or even um, one of the others except Otto's cause, and Sunny. They're a little bit too big for this bush, and they would be seen. But the rest of you could technically hide within the bush. I don't want to hide in the bush. I want to hide just, like, maybe behind it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, it's okay, about six great. feet. It's thick because it's just pure flowers. Basically okay, a giant flower bush is what it is. You're making a murder bush. I okay, great. This. Um, So let me do my dex check. Well, that just flew. Um, Dirty 20. Yeah, you... or it's a che it's just a check, right? Sorry, I didn't yeah, it's just a um, seventeen. Yeah, you make it. If you rolled be uh low a ten, then you would fall on your ass. But other than that, nothing. Okay. While I'm here, uh, I guess I'll just uh you know, shoot her with my. Oh, does that... remember I'll shoot flying. her with my. Oh, how far up she is she? Thirty feet. Okay, that's fine. I have 320 foot range. <laughs> oh yeah, you can easily take pot shots. Go right for it. Okay. And I'm uh, hidden, so I get advantage. Let's see. Ooh, glad I have that advantage. Um, That's going to be a uh, 26 to hit. Yep, that hits. Great. And then let's see, short pose, number six, and then my sneak attack. Oops. Um, uh, that's eight plus. Um, that's thirteen damage. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. You watch as the arrow flies and hits her in the shoulder. And for a second you see her wince, but then her face goes back to how it was before and she just kind of looks over towards that area of where you, the air came from, basically. Mm -hmm. Or pulled. Okay. Next up, it's Todd's turn. Todd is going to step forward. Let me bring up his... He instead is going to attack uh, with his. Hmm. What would he do? You know what? He's going to attack you twice with his great sword. So let's see. Uh, does a 19 hit? Autos? Okay. Uh, 
you take 14 slashing damage. And let's see, that's... That is, yeah, that's over 20. And you take another... Let's see, that was an 8. 12 slashing damage. As he... At first, looking at his size, you're like, oh, he's not going to be able to hit that hard. And then he takes this great sword goes one slash and then comes back with another backslash and you kind of step back going what the hell and he just looks at you with deadpan eyes face totally blank mm -hmm. okay now all of you suddenly feel the very world begin to shift and change. And you feel a very deep pressure begin to assault you all. And you watch as the entire area suddenly shifts to what you see before you. Nouvelle, before you, what was once a sweet pea bush suddenly shifts to writhing roots, seemingly attempting to grasp at you. Sunny and Artos, next to you, what you see is a raised dais with a rune. Pulsing with an energy you've never felt before. Both of your instincts tell you to run. And on the next turn, when it's your turn, you need to step away from that area. As your mind is saying, we need to stay away from this. Roshji. You watch as the entire land shifts. The trees become dead, crepit, dying. You see what looked to have been lavender bush turn into what appears to be something out of almost nightmare. These grotesque plant life that seems similar to a strange type of Venus flytrap. And you look and watch as it almost seems like, like they're watching all of you. They're plant like moths dripping in anticipation, just waiting for one of you to get close. Uh, hey, kitty. Yes. This is why I didn't want to go in the fucking bush, because I knew you were about to be on some bullshit. <laughs> I did warn you! I did warn you all! Yeah, so, so luckily this... I'm not inside the bush. <laughs> no, they're just, just slightly going hello. So where is this moth flytrap thing? Uh, right here. And right here. Because those were the original areas of the um, flytraps. Uh, you also notice that the grass have taken on this more purplish strange look to them uh the bushes that you saw farther into the upper right let's see upper left and upper right corners have turned this vibrant purple but they seem off actually and on that how note, does it smell oh okay sorry oh uh the smell where once it smelled extremely fresh and like that moment that you're getting like leaving a place that is very stinky in your um, respect since the house only smelled a little bit dank. But here it first smelled bright, fresh, really nice to the lungs is the best way I can explain it. But now it has this scent of rot underneath this feeling of 
just something not right that's kind of hitting you all in a weird, strange way. And some of the smells you can't really put a finger on, but they all just make you want to run for your lives. This is going to be a weird question. Go ahead. Um, is it like the friendly garden variety, like natural rot, like compost and buried corpses and like, like the circle of lifestyle of rot? Or is it just like, I don't know, necromancy rot or like, what are we I talking here? I would say necromancy, but there is a scent of almost disease to it. Hmm. And that's one of the reasons why you just feel like you want to run. And so, my dear Sunny, you're up. Okay. You muted. Yeah, no, I was okay. unmuting. I have to switch. I don't have two monitors right now. Oh, okay. um, no worries. All right, well, I'm going to attack Steve. Well, first, I'm going to rage. Big okay. old rage time. And also, um, all the times I kept saying I'm going to take a second attack, and then I was like, do I get one? Yeah, I actually do. So all those times I didn't, I should have gotten one. But it's, it's okay. Yeah. We're going to do it I would now. say Sunny was in that moment of, I want to hit this person and then realize, oh, I did this a lot faster. Uh, you also have the feeling that you need to get away from the dais next to you. Mm -hmm. So uh, as long as you are five feet away from it, mm -hmm. you will be fine. All right. So in that case, case she's going to move not out of his uh threat range but there okay and then i'm going to attack because he's an asshat all right okay. that's it's attack. at disadvantage oh i also rolled damage instead of to hit why am i at disadvantage reasons Okay, well, well the first soon. one's a 15. Okay, so this is Steve. Uh, that misses. Second one's a 26. Does that, that hit? Yes, that hits. <laughs> Six damage. Okay. So, the reason why you missed that first attack was at first you thought you were going to be fighting this guy that had a straight face, but the moment you kind of look back, you see that his entire form has become desiccated, rotting. His cheeks are sunken in. You catch that smell of a rotting corpse in front of you. And you see it's looking at you with bright red eyes. I mean, I still stab it. So. Yeah, you still stabbed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it for your turn? That's it. Okay. Now I have a question. Which great sword did you use? The new one? The new one, the magic one. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay, next up. Janella, can I have you roll me your um, wisdom saving throw at disadvantage, please? Yeah, I will. <laughs> um, double checking. I'm double, I'm, I need to remember my saves. Uh, it's a five. It's... Does the fact that she can't hear the fairy godmother help her in any way? Nope. This situation right now. Okay. Who are you going to attack? Who oh, indeed? Um yes. I'm trying to think what she would want. Uh I think um I think I have enough. Hold on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, she's gonna um, 
Uh, do another uh, ba -ba -ba Eldritch Blast uh, towards uh, Nouvelle. Sorry, you can't. Oh, that's right. Uh, never mind. I can't do anything. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you... question. D mm -hmm. Glorious DM. Does um. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um. Does um. Uh, would Janelle be compelled to move or just attack? You would be compelled to move. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, never mind. No choice here. <laughs> She's gonna. So I would say up. your first shot. You attempted to cast it, but it failed because you're in mm -hmm. silence. Realizing that, you pulled back, so you get your second shot. Okay, and then she's just gonna say, um, sorry, 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 um, and then cast it. I have a question. I'm still behind yeah. this fucking tree. <laughs> it's a giant, not a brutes, is what it is. Oh, uh, so should I, so should I roll? Do I get... Uh, you get disadvantage in this case. Okay, let me roll again then. Uh, one of those cocked. Alright, so then it is... Uh, 17 to hit. Misses. Alright, that, then that's it. That's all she does. Okay. Um, and she, uh, is gonna say, I can't really control this and I'm sorry and I really don't want to do this. <laughs> and, yeah. Okay. Uh, for all of you, when you hear her, it's, well, those in the cone of silence, you can't hear anything. Everyone else, you can hear it's very, very difficult for her to say anything right now. Where just attempting to say that was more like attempting to pull teeth, trying to get the words out of her mouth. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Shoot. Is Janella still holding on to the to the chest? Uh, no, she put it down. Where? No, wait, she uh, handed it to the fairy godmother, if I remember correctly. Thank yeah. you. So the fairy godmother is currently up in the air with chest in an, uh, her hand. Okay, that that's unmoving. fine. She can, be, she can hover however she wants to. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Janella is done, I take it. Uh, yeah, it's your turn. Shoot. Okay. If it's channel divinity, it's not a spell. It's just a yeah. feature that you can do. So you it's can just do it. something that you can uh, do underneath your will. Well, you can try. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, let's see, for him, crap, let's see, give me a second, I have to do math and figure this out, what he would be technically. The downside of when you, um, homebrew a little bit, especially with certain things, uh, 
since they were in dark. So technically it would be a little higher. I'm still going to roll it just to see if, yeah. Oh yeah, he definitely beats it. Uh, he rolled a nat 18, but you do get information from it though. As you go to kind of push your will over this creature, you notice that for just a second, it kind of jerks and for almost what seems like forever, its head creaks and cracks and it looks at the fairy godmother with disdain and anger. But then you see it kind of tense up again face goes completely blank and goes back to looking right at you. Okay. Yep. I would say half of your body is in, half of your body's out. Take that as how you want to take it. Half clank, yes. Booty is outside. Face is inside. Okay, now it's her turn. For those of you who are looking at the fairy godmother, you do notice that as the place changed, where one minute she was in this gaudy clothing, now it seems to be tattered. Her skin seems to have taken on almost like a very porcelain look with fine cracks. But her eyes are completely black. And you watch as her entire motif, her entire movement seems more twitchy. Who's this? This is the fairy godmother. Thank you. And you look as she looks down at Janella. Janella, dear, didn't I tell you to attack them? Do it again. Okay. Roll me that wisdom save at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Ah, that sucks because I got a nat 20 on one of them. Uh. <laughs> All right, the other is an 18 plus three, so 21. Once again, this time, instead of raising your hand, you're able to pull back. You look at her, you have a second success. And you're able to resist her command. Uh, she's just gonna do a quick little middle finger uh, as a free entry, and uh, yeah. And you lose the first perk. Alright, that's fine. I, I've been alright anyways. And thus, she gets angry once again. Her hand flicks. And she looks around the area. Once again, looking at Rostri. He watches this orb of darkness appears in her. And she looks at it, looks at you, snaps her fingers. Can I have you roll me a dexterity saving throw? Uh, nine. You take nine points of necrotic damage, and I need you to write down one fail. And that is her turn. 
Ocasio Europe with Rush G on deck. I'm shooting a bolo arrow at her. Okay. Now you're going to be aiming. I want to, but because she's flying, I don't know if it would do what I think it will do. Uh, she's hovering. So, let's see. If her speed goes down to five, but she's hovering, she stays hovering? Actually, let's see what happens. I want to s- So. Okay. Yeah, let's see what the dice say. Says this is a special certain stance. That's a 27 to hit. That hits. Okay. The dice say yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they do. Let's see if. Uh... Um, and I'm going to drop the silence and declare her my favorite foe and concentrate on that. Okay, sounds good. And That's she fails. Five. Uh, five piercing damage. Um, and I was aiming to at basically whatever it is okay. to reduce the speed to five and prone. So, okay. Um, let's see. What was the damage again? Five. Okay, this is uh, blunt force instead of piercing. Okay. But... You watch as, at first, she's kind of looking at you like, uh-huh, right? But then you watch as suddenly the arrow kind of rips apart, and you see uh, as suddenly this rope with two uh, metal stone-like appearance comes swinging around and wraps around her, and she's shocked because she's never seen this before. And you watch as she suddenly drops, letting go of Chesh in the uh, process. She actually takes damage from this. Let's see. Let me... mm -hmm. 66. She falls. What was that? Because she was 30 feet up, right? Yeah. Let's see. So that would be... She took more damage on the left first damage. Okay. She is now grounded. Great. I'm going to use my second attack to... Uh, shoot a fire arrow at disadvantage because she's prone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 26 at disadvantage. 16 and 18 on the die. Yeah. That's nice. As I told everybody, dice get to choose what happens. Uh, five Piercing three fire. Okay. Am I compelled or uh, not compelled? Do Sorry. I feel like I sh I cannot move closer to the dais? Uh, yeah, where you, you are right now, you do not feel that, but you do feel even in this area that that is something to be avoided. Is there any darkness in this new composition yes. of map? Yes, there is. Everything's, like all the trees, seem to be casting a shadow. It yes, seems that this entire area is cast in shadow currently. Stalk that gloom, boo-boo. Stalk it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. If I go here and I can sort of position myself, because I have 15 feet of jumping, so I can use my bonus action to use my rabbit hop mm -hmm. and then move 30 feet. Do I still, what was the kind of save that we need to make or check or something? Uh, to it's get just that a um, acrobatics with a DC of 10, just to make it easier on you guys. 10 or lower, you fall on your butt. And you lose half your movement from there. 
Okay, let's see. 15 feet. So 15 feet will get me to this square that's like half ledge, half uh, open. If I rabbit hop there, I guess I would still have to make the save, so I'm going to go do it. Why not? Let's tell a story. Uh, you would have uh, advantage because you're used to hopping around. Wow. Uh, if I hadn't had advantage, it would have been a 10, uh, but it is more than that. Okay. You're easily able to jump down with no problem. And I will use my full 15, my 45 with that to hide in this darkness, or position myself in the darkness since I can't technically hide. But I am invisible. End of turn. Um, okay. Hey, Kitty, can you mark where chests go? Like, where exactly uh, yeah. the cage is? Mm, right there. Thank you. Oh, I see what you're gonna do. You see absolutely nothing. <laughs> Hi, I play chess. Anyways. I don't. Uh. <laughs> Any, so, anything else you're going to do, Ocasio? No, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Rashi, you're up. Okay, so Rashi is going to hop down from the ledge um, and go her 30 feet right here. Okay. Um, I got a 13 on my check, so you're I fine. assume I hop down okay. Um, wait, where did I say 30 feet was? Right there. Um, okay, and then, um, I just want to make sure. Okay, so we're outside of the 30 foot range. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast, um, Pull the dead I on the one. Say, getting down, getting closer, you do see that um, Sunny is looking pretty hurt. Um. I mean, I can help her with animate dead if she gets more hurt. I mean, that is a possibility. Um. How close are we? Okay, so can I toss her one of the healing potions that I have? Yeah, is Sunny uh, even going to look? <laughs> Sunny is raging. Yeah, Sunny is currently raging. Her mm -hmm. entire focus is on the. I'm gonna stick with the toll the dead then. I'm gonna stick with right the original plan. We're gonna toll the dead on uh, I, whatever his name is here. This guy. Jesse. Steve. Jason. Steve. 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 Um, Steve gets told the dead. Where did told the dead go? Uh, and that's a 26. Okay. Is he already hurt at all? Yes, they're both. They're all hurt. Okay. Um, wait. So I'm going to point at him. Um, and apparently the sound of a Dolores bell fills the air around it for a moment. Um, he needs a wisdom saving throw. Okay, what's DC the... 16. Okay. 
he fails. All right, um, he's gonna take some damage that I'm gonna roll here just as soon as I find my other die. Nine necrotic damage to him. And I'm gonna okay. retire that die. Go away. I'm gonna see a naughty corner for the day. Um. um so you cast that spell, and strangely, uh, what you hear is not like a church bell or anything. It sounds like the bells on a ship out at sea. And around Sunny, you smell the scent of fresh sea for just a second as you see the creature in front of you wince, and you can tell that that hit deep. Okay. Are you going to do anything else? That's my turn. Thank you. Okay, Steve is up. He just rolls a little fast. Okay. You watch as just as he's about to hit Sunny, you see him kind of pull back. And for a second, the red of his eyes dim. And he's just stuck in this position. And now it's Novell's turn. Okay. I am going to move to like right here. Or here. Can you roll me a um, dexterity saving throw, please? Sure thing. Not 20. So 28. Okay. So just as you're starting to move, you watch as the. Um, tendrils of this giant um, knotted root system attempts to grab you and then they pull back just as you dodge around the different um, roots. Nice try, bitch. Um, I say to the root. <laughs> um, um, I am going... Okay, let me just... I need to measure something. Go right ahead. Uh, okay. I think I need to be closer. Okay. I'm going to bonus action dash okay. over to... Sorry, I'm doing a lot. Nobody can see. I'm just doing a lot of measuring over here. <laughs> well, there is a lot of measuring. I feel this. I played a monk once. I think here. So many measurings I had to do. Oh, no. I need to go one more. There. Okay, um, now that I'm here, I want to summon my mage hand. But okay. it can be invisible <laughs> because okay. of my ledger domain. Um, I'm going to summon it. It has to be within 30 feet of me, so I'm going to summon it. Oops, that is not how you measure. <laughs> I'm going to summon it right over chests and then have it snatch the cage. Okay. I would say, let's see, movement, movement, casting, grab it. I would say that you just have it in your grasp right now. So mm -hmm. next turn is when you'll be able to move it. Right. Yep. I kind of want to have it like, since it's invisible, she might have trucing, I don't know, whatever. But I just want to like, have it like the hand basically on it to like snatch hopefully try to snatch it away mm -hmm. right now from your just how close you are to her you notice that she's more struggling with um the ties that are currently oh right she's tied noticing the thing. yeah she's currently yeah. Okay. uh entangled I forgot about that yeah, yeah. okay she's great not... and yeah. so i think that movement bonus action action yep i'm done Okay, you're done. Now it's Todd's turn. Todd is going to attack Athos. Bring it. He's going to do what he did last time. Let's see, that would be a... Oh, I forgot you guys were all had disadvantage in all your attacks this round. Whoops. 
Oh, well. I have a lot of things on my mind. Anyways, okay, so does a... Let's see, where is his attacks? Uh, 19 hit? Yep. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Okay, that would be... 16 slashing for the first attack. Okay. Why, Dice? Why do you hate me? Uh, next one is going to be a 26 to hit. Yeah. So that is 12 damage. So, so uh, 16, so a total of 18, right? Yes. Okay, so 18. Math? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes. Um, okay. Cool. Okay. So that's his turn. Still up. And you... <laughs> and you guys once again see the entire world shift. For you, those who are in front of um, the enemy, you watch as they shift back into their solid, healthy forms. Novel, from your distance, you actually see for just a very split second. She waves her hand. She waves it? She waves her hand. Oh, she's doing a thing. She's being a little bitch. Okay. Oh. You all are now healed for 28. The fairy godmother did this? Yes. Okay. That just kind of... That just... Uh, is is that tap? Proves or my like... suspicions. No, this is uh, regular healing. How much is it? Uh, did I say twenty eight? Yeah. Y yep. Yeah, twenty eight. Can oh, I? I don't need any. Can I shunt it mine over to somebody else who needs it? Yeah, I'm at full too. <laughs> no, unfortunately. But I would say Roshi and Autos, you actually see the fountain begin to glow. And the two that are currently standing beside it wince. Sunny, you are the closest. You actually feel like you want to get close to it. Hmm. Instead, you're compelled to get close to it. Okay. It reminds you of honey buns. Okay. I'm gonna go swim in some honey bun frosting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just motorboat your face <laughs> into the fountain. <laughs> I don't think very. St if you tried to motorboat Ooh. honey buns, that would be very yeah, sticky, that, and I don't that, recommend that, it. Yeah. You don't recommend it? Disagree. My brain went somewhere, and I do not want to say where it went. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Sunny, you're up. All right, so in that case, Sunny will move back until she's closer to the fountain okay. and take my two shots. Am I back at disadvantage? Uh, no, you're not. That effect is gone. Okay. But being near the fountain, you actually are healed another uh, seven points worth of um, healing. How much was the first heal on it? 28. Okay, perfect. Because there was going to be some problems here in a little bit. There we go. I got you. Okay. Uh, so that's 23 to hit, Steve. Yeah, hit. 12 damage. Okay. And then 19 to hit, Steve. Okay. And that, that is hits. three, or sorry, seven damage. I can't add. Leave me alone. Uh, just to make sure you are adding your. Uh, Rage bonus, correct? Nope. What is your strength? Well, I, is it is it adding my rage bonus? No, the, I, it's no, not. My strength I, is three. Yeah, I think your rage three. bonus would be like a plus two or to that damage. It's usually plus two, I think. So that would be 14 and nine then. Yeah. I have to do math. Because I'm also going to retroactively add a little bit more damage. 
Okay. Math, math, math. D and D, where math is used, and people hate it. Stay in school, kids. Okay. That has been. Anything else you want to do? Nope, that's it. Okay. Janella, can I have you roll your wisdom saving throws, please? Yup. Not one, so uh, technically four, but that's not one. Who are you going to attack this time? I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> By the way, uh, it's brightly lit again. I know. <laughs> uh, she's uh, probably let him bloom stock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, it, it, let's just say there will be times. Okay, she's probably gonna attack Novell since she's closest. Sorry. Whatever. Um... <laughs> Novell will remember this. <laughs> I know everyone's gonna remember this. It's gonna be so bad. Anywho. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. That hits. Did you add your plus two to your AC from Shield Fate? That's, that's it with that's uh, it with the plus two. Oops. I tried. All right, that is a uh, nine plus three, so twelve, wow. and then what was the first? One? Uh, and then one second to roll the second one. And then that's an additional. Did I roll the right thing? Yeah, additional four. So, uh, fourteen on the first hit. Uh, remember that you Wait, lost the, the bonus. Oh, I did lost the bonus. Never mind. Then that's yeah. just uh twelve. I thought that was okay. So just twelve flat. Just twelve flat. You're good. Yep. Okay. And yeah. then uh, and then the second one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As uh eighteen to hit, so doesn't hit. Sweet. Okay, and then um she's probably gonna back up a bit. Um and so I'll do the movement and I'll be done. Okay. Atas, you're up. Alright. Swing my blade strike twice at Todd. All right, first hit, it's gonna be eight plus seven, 15 to hit. Yep, you hit. And the other one is higher than that, so. Cool. Okay. All right, first one. Uh, nine plus four, that is 13. And let's pump in in that one, why the fuck not? Uh, Divine Smite. Okay. Which I think... Uh, what's Divine Ooh. Smite? It's a few D8. Uh, what's my Smite? Do, 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 do. Smite, Smite, Smite. Okay, so it's... Smite two, should be 2D8. Two two yeah. And is he... Um, Undead or Fiend? Not right now. Not right now? Alright, well, it's just 2d8. It's gonna be an additional 9 radiant damage. Okay. And second attack is not gonna be super good on damage, it's just gonna be an, an extra 6 damage on him. Okay. And. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna waste another okay. smite on that. So, you watch as, I will say, that first hit with the smite hit hard, where you notice its form begin to kind of rip right. a little bit, glitch out. And you're kind of surprised of how hard that radiant damage actually hit. All right. So. Did you just did you just do a first level or a second level? First level. 
Oh, okay. Do I'm do keeping my train level just in case. Sorry. I would say the ones who probably noticed. Let's see, you would have been looking that way. You would have been looking. Janella, Ocasio, and Autos. Given where you would be looking in my head, you three would have noticed that that radiant damage, that smite attack, hit a lot harder than you expected. Than you have seen. Um, his attacks. So. Take that as you will. Now I do have to ask, where exactly is Eden? Is she on your back, or is she in the fox, uh, She's uh, in the baby okay. Bjorn. She's in the fox bag with her little paws hanging out. <laughs> what is she? What? Okay. Nothing. You know, nobody was asking until somebody in chat had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Get my <Okay>. sister killed. <laughs> okay. Gosh, who did that? I'm so sorry. No, I don't care. It's, I mean, I care, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, let's just say she has plot there's armor, certain things <laughs> that I've been rolling secretly in the back that no one knows about. Anyways, uh, so I take that's autosis. Mm. And are you going to use another mm. smite? Or... No, I only, only use one smite against uh, the oh, creature. Okay, yeah. I just want to know if you're going to use another one no. or not. Okay, so next up is her turn. Okay, what is her goal? Let's see. Nope, she doesn't get out. Uh, she's still struggling to escape. And let's see. Double check some. God, somebody please get this bitch back through the portal. Okay, who. Who looks the most damaged right now? I'm still pretty fine. I'm at full health. I'm I'm fine. I'm doing fine like, right now. It's only Sunny yeah, and I that is um, getting crapped on. Uh yeah, Janella's little uh little spell only just like half of that was just by temp hit points, so okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Nice try though. Okay. Um I would say since, let's see. Novel, can I have you roll me a perception check with disadvantage? Okay. okay. Disadvantage, perception, uh, nine. Okay, you do not see this. What exactly okay. happened? Uh, Sunny, you gain plus two to your AC. Nice. Okay. And that is her oh. turn. Okay, next up is Ocasio. Then uh, Rashi, you're up next. All right. Out of character, Trias, you were saying get Janella through the portal? Um, the fairy godmother. Oh. Rastri had hissed, uh, had kind of hissed it to Ocasio and, um, Nouvelle mm -hmm. earlier when we were all still at the portal, like, get her yeah. back through the portal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Which Ocasio is obviously free to listen to or not. I'm yeah, trying. yeah, this whole time... Juice thought you meant Danella, so that changes my game plan just a little bit, uh, but I don't want to take up too much time. Um, she's 
she's a medium creature. Can a small creature <laughs> carry a medium creature? Probably not. What's a small creature? Depends on the type of creature, but it can drag. Okay. I'm going to sum, uh, cast Summon Beast and going to summon a Beast of the Air, a Bestial Spirit of the Air in the form of, you guessed it, an owl. <laughs> it's not a tiny owl, it's a small size owl. So like, not a giant owl, not a regular owl. Mini Alchemist. It has a strength <laughs> score of 18. Okay. Yeah, reminder that Ocasio and Nouvelle have both just been owls this whole time. <laughs> the same owl. I forgot! Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that! And one of these owls has just been hopping around, basically. <laughs> uh, one owl has just a fluffy tail, and the other one has just has a fox <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> The fox is not amused. Let's and see. I would like to summon it. I know I have an owl. That's friggin' delightful. I just want to say. I'd like to summon it basically right above her and try and have that owl like carrying her back in the direction of the portal. Okay. Why can I not find the owl? I know I have an owl. Where's the. It sucks when you have a lot of tokens. And you can't find the right token. It's like looking in, um, back in the day, looking in the token box with the figures and going, is this it? Is this what I'm looking for? You know what? We're just going to do a songbird. <laughs> it's right above her. Okay. So you summon it. Are you able to command it to do something after your turn? It takes its own initiative turn right after mine, and I can just command it, no action required, to do whatever I want. Okay, so you're trying to drag it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It has a move. Its own movement speed is... Flying, it is 60 feet. You know what? I'm going to let you roll. What am I rolling? Uh, I would say this would be... Roll strength for the um owl do you have the stats mm -hmm. okay. 22 okay let's see nope 18 sorry okay uh you are able to have the owl drag them let's see i would say 20 feet no 30 feet and it's flying correct okay, so it has 60 speed. feet yeah, half speed. 60 feet of flying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a able to do 30 feet. I had okay, to do mental math. Down. Let's see. Um, so it would be here. Okay. Ah. Oh, I, I can't control it. Yeah, I was moving exactly in that direction. Yeah. Give me a second. I will give you control of the birdie. There you go. Um, you now have then, control. Great. And I would like to have it use its action to dash. Okay, roll me another strength check. Twelve. Uh, you're able to move an extra... Let's see, twelve. I would say ten feet. Okay, I still cannot move it. So if you could do that, that'd be great. So let's see. She's being pulled right behind him. Okay, so is that your turn? Uh, yeah, I yeah I guess so because I can only go after mine. So I would have stayed where I am. Mm -hmm. End of turn for both of us. Okay. Uh, Rashi, you're up. Okay, so Rashi is going to move closer to... Let's see. Closer to 
closer to the ocean. Um, right, the fountain isn't like making me. No. You have the feeling that it's peaceful, and you actually saw where you were standing uh, when um, Sadi stepped close. You watched some of her wounds actually close up. Okay. Uh, cool. So I don't want to run away from the fountain. That's cool. Um, so Rostri moved closer, so she's kind of in the middle of the two goons, um, and, uh, she's going to cast Bane on the two, on Steve and Todd. Um, so, they have to make a charisma saving throw, uh, DC 16. Okay. Uh, Steve fails. Uh, Todd succeeds. Okay, so Steve, the next time he makes an attack roll or a saving throw, um, he rolls a d4 and subtracts the number. Actually, it uh, lasts for a minute. It's not just one time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beans. Um, and then... Kind of a run by Bane, I suppose, because um, I think I'm gonna have her move her last. What was it? I think it was ten feet left, so I'm gonna have her move over closer to okay. Steve. Um, and that's my turn. Uh, if you're damaged at all, you would heal uh, six points of healing. Gracias. So next up is, lo and behold, it's Steve. So he is, yeah, he's going to attack. Yeah, I think uh, 10 misses. Uh, against Sunny. You're muted. Yeah, sorry. What against Sunny? I'm sorry. Uh, does a 10 hit? Really? I gotta ask. Who knows? Okay, uh, that's his turn. That's why I was like, did I hear that right? Like, what? <laughs> I hungry. Brain go stupid. Anyways, uh, next up is um, Novell. Uh, I'm gonna go pick chess up. You hand it to yourself. I do. I uh, hand chess. it to myself. Uh, kind of gives My... the whole Paul touches you and then pulls back in Aww. and goes, passes out. Again. My mage hand pats me on the back for doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Okay, and then um, it boops you. It boops me, and then I want to. Who's out of the two goons? Who's looking the most messed up? Uh, that would be Todd. Todd. Todd would. Oh. Okay. Todd is this one here. Okay. The one against. I Athos. feel like Athos can handle it, so I'm gonna oh, help yeah. Sunny out. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to cast Chromatic Orb Go for against it. Steve. Um, and I guess I'll choose, I don't know what to choose. I guess I'll choose, I don't know, acid damage. Ooh, okay. Did Nouvelle see the radiant damage to, uh, to I her extra heart, like, go extra ham? I did, no, but I also don't away. have, I also don't have anything oh, radiant, okay. so it wouldn't help me. I was trying to be helpful. No, I appreciate it, but I'm just, I'm like, I'm basically a, a wizard. There's no radiant magic here. <laughs> um, that's a 23. Three to hit. Okay, you hit. Okay. Oh. And I get. Oh, wait, no. It's the spells. Can't do my sneak attack. Um, and what was the spell again? Chromatic Orb. Thank you. At the first level. Stupid. Yeah, no problem. That's going to be. Um, I have to do math again. 15 acid damage. Okay, 15. 
Let me just double check something real fast. So it was 16 damage, right? Yep. Okay. 15, 1, 5. Oh, 15. 15. Yeah. Okay. It hits and he kind of goes forward, but then he goes back up to being straight. Okay. That's his choice, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna bonus that. I'm going to use, do, I'm just going to use a dash action. Uh, but I'll just, I'll just go back this way. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Next up is Todd, and he's going to do what he's been doing this entire time. Take pop shots at the Come big on. kitty. Bring it on. Um, let's see what happens here. One second. Okay. Uh, so the first attack, you watch as he kind of slips up and slashes his own leg, dealing damage to himself. He rolled a nat one. That's a choice. Yep. And you can see it's a pretty deep gash. Then he, instead of falling over or anything like that, he spins to go after his second attack. Mm -hmm. That's cocked. That hits. That is uh, 22. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. so that is, let's see, 12 damage. Alright, I'm going to use my reaction to do Elish Rebuke. So he has to make a dex save. Or take 18 fire damage. Okay, what's the save? Uh, it's a deck save of 13 and takes half on the save, so. Okay, uh, he has an 18 on the die, so he takes half, so how much does he take? Uh, it was 18 damage, so half of that would be 9. Okay, and this is fire damage, correct? That is correct. Okay. He's starting to look pretty hurt. Get shit on Todd. It's Okay. I have to roll something real fast. So, all of you watch as you see the landscape just about to shift again but then you hear what sounds to be almost like tearing and it snaps back into place and in all your minds you hear her the fairy got the mother's voice but it's different leave now take her i don't know how long i can hold it back and that's where we're going to take our break. All right. What? Okay. Get up, stretch, take a break. We'll be the back DM in a bit. Dead DMs need food. That's valid. We'll be right back.
And we're back. And we're back. Okay. So, we left off during this epic battle between the fairy godmother and our dear heroes. Question mark. And just as the field began to shift once more, something happened to cause it to snap back into its current state. And let's see. Yeah, you guys would all say this. As you guys are moving around, fighting, you notice that both Steve and Todd begin to... How would I put it? I would say that just as that feeling of the world snapping back, you watch as those two go to a knee as light pulses for a quick second. And you can tell that one of them is pretty hurt. The other one is damaged from it as they're slightly smoking. And so we continue on with this epic final battle of the final episode. They took a knee? Yeah, as in one of those moments you have such an intense pain, you go to a knee okay. as you're trying to withstand that pressure. So Sunny, you're up. And then Janella, you're on deck. I bet you can't guess what Sunny's gonna do. Cast Sunny Sword. Smash. Sunny Smash. Okay. First one misses. Second one is a dirty 20. So that the dirty 20 will hit, yeah. Nine damage. Sunny. Yep. As you're going to attack him, mm. you notice that your sword has the same kind of shimmering silvery blue tinged dust to it. Mm -hmm. And as it connects to the creature, you watch a flash of bright light. Mm -hmm. Can I have you roll me another d6? This is radiant damage. Radiant. Uh, three. Okay. And what was the first attack? Nine. Okay. Now, Sunny, since she's raging, doesn't know pretty much anything else that's going on. So she just thinks in rage brain that she has acquired some sort of magical power. And she's very excited about this. She's like, I cast a spell. <laughs> I did a thing. <laughs> I leveled up. Right. Can I have, can I have Sunny roll me a wisdom? Oh no! Just a straight wisdom check, real fast. Sixteen. Oh. Sunny gains the added one d six because <gasps> she is so freaking excited. I'm so excited! <laughs> oh so God, every I'm time amazing. I attack, I get a one d six. Mm -hmm. Additional okay, on good top deal. of the one d four, or did I okay. say one d six? One d six. So I get two extra yeah. d six. Okay. Yeah, you get one Yay! is radiant, the other one is um, happy damage. Happy damage because as you hit, you notice that it hit very very hard, and mm -hmm. the creature winces. Okay. So I take it that's your turn. That's my turn. Okay. Next up, Janella. Can I get that wisdom saving throw? And this uh, one is normal. Not normal. at disadvantage. Wow, okay. That one. <laughs> I'm rolling good the second time around, but the first time, never. It's never good. <laughs> I wish I could do like the, the, the anti-silvery barb. Actually, I would say in this situation, seeing the summoned bird 
dragging the fairy godmother away, your top priority right now, due to the curse, is to try to save her and yeah. stop whatever is happening. So. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Um, she's probably gonna cast the un... She's probably gonna cast Ray of Frost then on, um, the bird. Okay. To try to hit the bird so it goes down. That's a 12 to hit. I doubt that hits. It does not. Alright, then that's it. You watch as it just dives down, flaps back up, trying to I pull her along. It was like, oof, it was like right there. Mm. There's a well, little bit of um, frost on the top of its head. Okay, next up is Autos. Alright. No owl now. Well, I'm gonna also have a very complex turn, just like Sunny. Where okay. Todd will actually get shit on with that natural 20 on that first swing. Okay. Describe to me how you hit him. Well, he's taking a knee, right? Yep, so, he's taking a knee. So, well, I'm aiming for the neck. Fuck that. Um, so, on the just normal flashing damage, that's 8 double so 16 plus 4 and it's pumped in a level 2 fucking smite in it okay okay so that's 13 18 radiant damage do you double that as well mm -hmm. so 18 times 2 that's 36 Plus the previous eight, yeah. Plus the previous 16, yeah. 20 something, yeah. So let's see, I would say. Novell, Janella, Rashi, and Ocasio, you all see this. You just watch as. Um... Oh, by the way, add another uh, d6 of radiant damage. Sure. To that attack. That's a four on the die. Okay. Please stand by as the GM is currently creating a scene. Okay. So, you all watch. And at first, it's like, okay, we're in the middle of this battle. Okay, something's weird's going on. Is this really what's going on? All these different thoughts are going through all of your heads. And yet, you see Autos just kind of like a batter getting prepared. And you just watch his blade almost seem to catch on fire with radiant energy. And oddly enough, it has this tinge of that silvery kind of bluish dust to it. And you all watch almost in slow motion as he comes and slashes right across the neck. In one minute, you saw a creature there. And then the next minute, you see nothing but dust. That, that too, vanishes to nothingness. Well, you're crapped on Todd. Todd? Got obliterated. I will admit, he had eight health. Look. And you hit one of his weaknesses. Apparently. You know, if I'm gonna do a job, I'm gonna do it right. And I still have a second attack and 35 feet of movement. So... Yes, you do. Hey, Sunny, do you need help? I know I'm muted. Um, Sunny kind of stares up at Atha's... Like, well, if my camera would stop blurring out. I know yeah. I'm white, but I'm not that white. Okay. Um, <laughs> and she just kind of does the, like, Gowron eyes from Star Trek. And she's like, I got this. You got this? I'm fine. All right. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, cool. Then. And then she yells as loud as she can. Is anyone else here? I asked nicely, so you have to respond. Right. <laughs> silence. So, since... Absolute silence. So since Sunny got that, I'm just going to make use my movement. I'm not going to use my second attack. I'm just going to get behind Steve just to, you know, make him a bit more worried about potential thing because he just probably saw Todd become dust, so... But I know Sunny can okay. wreck Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my turn. So, let's see. Is she going to be able to do... That's cut. Let's see. So, let's see. Rashki, Otis. Let's see, she probably works on that. You watch for a second. Oh, Ocasio, you would also see this. As you notice that her wings kind of shimmer into from that kind of like opalescent gaudy look to wings that are more like a dragonfly's with that same kind of silvery accented with um, almost like cerulean aqua coloration just for a second and she looks like she's struggling almost against something else that you guys cannot see and you just watch as her hand where last time it was that dark energy. This time, it has that same kind of silvery, bluish color. She snaps. And between Autos and Sunny, you watch as suddenly that coloration kind of swirls up, sinks in. And let's see. And you watch as, once again, Steve, currently kneeling, goes ramrod straight. And he takes... He's getting excited. Or extreme pain. Let's see, that I would I mean, we don't kink shame. Math. And you watch for a second as suddenly almost cracks of uh, golden light burst forth for a sec, and then dissipate. And you watch as she kind of slumps back, her eyes going back to that almost... what you saw when you first saw her. And you see her expression change of relief to absolute annoyance. Looking at you, did you do that? You're muted, by the way. <laughs> I lost my tab. I lost my tab. It's very hard to keep track on this laptop, okay? Little touchpad. Um, Sunny is just like... Yes. I did. I did that. I did that. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Okay, I did it. And Athos probably believes me. Look, I, I don't think his. <laughs> I, I I believe that Sunny can do many things. That's true. You did see her hit pretty hard that last turn. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Next up is Casio Rashi. You're up after. So what are you going to do? From my perspective, I have a couple of questions to gauge the environment. Um, Athos and Sunny, if I, like, do you look fucked up? Oh, I'm fucking fine. Nah, I'm fine. You're good? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah we're good. Um. The magic of cause and effect. I am, like, torn 
somebody has to do it. Okay, I'm gonna use my turn to cast jump on myself. Okay. And then move and then use my bonus action to bunny hop to get up to Janella. I wish I had another. I wish I could like action surge because I want to try and grapple Janella to try and get her out of here. But basically, Janella just sees me, sees this owl like run and then bunny hop and like get ready to embrace her on his next turn. I will ask this. Would you like to use an epic moment with Janella? Yes. Janella, I would need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. All right. And Ocasio, can I have you roll me a, I would say this would be acrobatics, giving what you're doing, going for. That's a seven. Which is on par of how I've been rolling today. Okay. Acrobatics. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. I think it's 18 total. Okay. So. I found a map and calculating the scene. So. You guys all watch. Oh, wait. Well, sorry, I would sorry, say Otto. Say that again. Uh, I think I can actually get to you without using any of my movement because I cast jump on myself. So mm -hmm. I can use. So wait, I can use 10. Sorry, the, the, I was also mathing at the same time. Uh, <laughs> oh, no worries. I Fun mathing. It was here. So 10. So that's 16. Hmm. I still have a little bit of my actual movement left over now that my jump distance has tripled. So I still okay. have t 10 or 20 feet left if I'm able to pull this off to then start moving backwards towards the portal. Okay. Given the rolls and everything that was seen, this is how the epic moment occurs. You guys all watch in a split second. Your dear rabbit friend, who you figure is Ocasio, given the bounce, given that he is bouncing, <laughs> and you watch as he's just about to grab onto Janella, but she pulls back as you see her face go once again absolutely straight. The moment she saw you coming towards her, you saw, like, a look of oh my god, he's gonna help me. But then you just watched as that light dissipated. And she tried to pull back. But, given your speed and momentum, and the more of your movement speed, you are able oh. to tackle her down to the ground. But, you cannot move anymore. That is it for your uh, movement. Oh. But I would say she is restrained for now. I'll take it. Uh, she's probably and gonna then... try to say like, what the fuck? But like, it probably doesn't come off right. Actually, I will allow this because the speed <laughs> at which she moved, you do get a, uh, another wisdom saving throw to try to come back to your senses. Let us see. Nope, that's in that one. Again, what the fuck? Put that dice aside. That's hilarious. It's my pretty metal dice. You would think that it would roll better than it has been, but it's going into the dice pouch of nothingness. Okay. Anyways, that's it. And so my... Uh... Owl friend is going to continue moving the fairy godmother towards the portal okay. as well. 
Uh, try um, refreshing real fast. Me? And because um, it might, uh, changes might have to take a refresh is what I'm thinking right now. Roll 20. Changes stuff with me. Anyways, uh, roll me that... Um, did I have it as an athletics roll? No, I had it as strength. That's right. Roll that me that strength. strength roll. And if they're dashing, am I doing two of them? Yes. Okay. First one is green. Okay. This time it's uh, going to be at disadvantage because she is actually now fighting against the owl. Is she rolling against the owl or no? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to have this as contested. So uh, since she, she is restrained. Is it still a disadvantage? Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to have it as contested because that actually sounds more logical. Okay, what did you roll for the first one? I rolled a 14. Okay, I would say she has disadvantage because she's still kind of tied up and she hasn't had a real chance to escape. Uh, first time you succeed, uh, you're able to move three spaces. Cool. What's the second? Uh, that second one was a six. Uh, okay. So with that second movement, what did she, she roll, jerks though? just uh, 22. Silvery barbs. She will have to re-roll and use the lower number. Natural um, 20. Natural 20? Okay, that's fine. So, anyways. Uh, she's actually able to break out of the um, hold of the owl. Mm -hmm. Let me just check something. Yeah, she's still technically tied up. Somehow, that Bolo has been actually holding on pretty damn tightly. Amazingly. And so, is that your turn? Yes. And that, yeah, okay. both of our turns are done. Arashi, you're up. I'm gonna go over to her. What kind okay. of state is she in? Where's the bolo? Is it around her? Bola, Bolo. It is around her upper torso, and it was able to actually wrap around her just right where her wings are slightly collapsed. You can see one of them that are still out that didn't get caught, but one cannot fly with one wing. And one of the things that you def definitely noticed was the shift between those two types of wings. They're back to what you've all seen her when you first met her. But she is currently um, entangled by the bola. All right, so Rostri is going to put one hand in her hair and one hand around the bolo bolo rope. Bol is it bola or bolo? I've heard it both ways. I one hand in the hair, one hand on the rope, mm -hmm. and lean down and whisper to her keep fighting I'm going to get you out of here um, and it's going to start either helping or taking over for the bird to try to haul her toward the toward the portal just as you said that I'm gonna... Anyways, um, 
And just as you say that, you hear a very strained voice in your head again. And it, the last thing that she says to you is, Kill in darkness. And you feel, you literally feel that voice be dragged back away from you. Can you repeat what it said? I'm going to message you guys. Next up is Steve. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna attempt an attack after he stands up. And he whiffs it again. Uh, Sunny, you watch as the blade goes wide and goes right over your head. Doesn't even make any impact whatsoever. She kind of looks sad for him. Because that was pretty sad. Oh, it was. Okay. That is his turn. Novelle, you're up. Okay. First things first. Before I move any further, mm -hmm. I'm going to look down in my bag to Eden and say, you need to go help Janelle and Ocasio. And you watch as she nods. And I want to send her over to give like, either Ocasio advantage or Janela advantage on her wisdom saving throws. Mm -hmm. um, and she'll use a dash action to get there because she has 30 feet of movement. Um, and I say, be safe, be careful. Um, you too, sister. And, she says in your head. Uh, and then I'm going to just take my movement and my dash. You watch um, as, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, do, would sending Eden count as an action, or is that just like me giving her like a for like, you as a familiar in this situation? Because she has special rules given the situation and uh, um, that I had to create for her. It's a free action, and then okay. she takes her turn after yours. Okay. Um. Then as I'm, I'm gonna move, I did my movement. I'm going to, um, I guess I'm just gonna magic missile Steve. Go for it. Since that'll just automatically hit. <laughs> and I don't have to think, and I as a player don't have to think about it. <laughs> Remember you get a D6 of radiant damage against it. Oh great. Is it a, just one D6 or is it D6 for every? One D it's one D six for each attack. Okay. <laughs> so magic missile three, it's just three things. So do I get a one per missile? Is that's what I'm asking? Yes, because okay. technically each missile is a singular attack. It's just an okay. auto hit. Okay, great. Okay. All right. So my let me do my. Radiant damage first. So that's uh, 10 radiant damage. Okay. And then, and then 7 you, force damage. How would you like the magic missiles to hit? Um. Would you paint the scene for me? I think as I. I've sent Eden out. It's kind of upsetting to me because I'm just nervous for her and this is a very scary battle. Um, and I see like Athos and 
Sonny fighting this uh, Jim dickhead. Um, and I just like, sort of like, they sort of just kind of like fly from like the tips of my fingers. Like I mm-hmm. sort of finger guns to be frank, like just <laughs> as I'm running. <laughs> um, yeah. And then they like hit him, I think. One hits him in the fore in the face. One hits him in like the chest, and then um, the last one hits him in the dick. Because I can. Okay. <laughs> you all watch. I get the fun of describing this in detail. I love my players. I truly do. Okay, so you all watch. As suddenly, Novel takes her hands and goes pew 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 and you watch as three ugly golden with silvery blue to it flies out you watch as the first one slams right underneath the chin causing him to go up with the impact and burst of bright golden light you watch as the second one hits him in the chest pushing him back and that last one hits right between the legs. And you all watch and hear him scream in absolute pain as he just turns to shimmering dust. What does he scream as he dies? Oh no, my dick. <laughs> Pure, unadulterated pain. That has no words, just pure emotion. Bossy's like feeling a little sad for the dude. Tiny twinge of sympathy. And if anybody's like looking at Nouvelle in this moment, like as she casts the spell, um, her hair is glowing, but like briefly, and then it stops. It fades away. Mm-hmm. Nouvelle is going Super Saiyan. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And just as this has happened, Eden, moving quick, like a silver shot, runs towards Novell, not Novell, uh, Janela, and oddly enough, seeing what happened to her last time, and given that she's on the ground, she walks up and does with her paw a quick funk across Janella's face. Did, you did get I to just... roll a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Oh, I'm still As you probably see, gonna roll <laughs> Eden's fur also <laughs> shimmering with magic. So I rolled that a nat one and then a six. Uh, so that's nine. Oh my god, eat your dice. Absolutely eat your dice. I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing new d20s. because Absolutely. Point... I don't know why you didn't do that before. Eat your dice. No, because I was using my metal dice for all of them before, and now just I... the, the Janela dice are just not working for me no more. Your dice are fired. Yeah, yeah. They really are. Throw those dice away. Or like, from a go cannon. On like, but they're from our amazing affiliates, Die Hard Dice. I can't throw those dice away. Listen, yeah, I think more. you need to go on like a weekend they need... trip with your dice. Yeah, have, like, they need a, a spa day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, myself, <laughs> I need to make you a dice retreat. It's going to be a while. I put a lot of heart into them. It's insane. You're on the list now. Oh so. no. God, how far how far down am I on that list am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. You've I, seen my rules. I, I love this for me. <laughs> and to everybody who is watching, DC's low right now. Not that low. She only needed at this point, given the bonus as well. It was only an 11. Are you kidding? It's only 11? <laughs> it's Wait, only what did 11. I Wait, what Wait, did you I got say a six I and a, You got a six and a one. A seven? Okay, I can do... You I get forgot it. I have this. Hold on, pause a second. Could, I have, have like pack a of the thing? talisman, so I could add a, a D4, turning the roll possibly to a success. So maybe, possibly, we're going to try it. 
For the love That's of God. Two. This ain't gonna happen. <laughs> what is your bonus to wisdom? What is your wisdom uh, saving throw? Plus three. So, wait. Plus What'd six plus five is eleven. Six plus three? No, you got eleven. The DC's eleven. Yeah. The DC's eleven. Six you plus made it. Six, six plus three is nine. Plus nine. two is eleven. Oh my god. <laughs> Math, kid. I, I remember so kids, so remember bad. your abilities, because they can save you in situations like these. Always have as, some As you can tell, check. I don't play Warlock. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a, sweetie, that wasn't, that's not even a Warlock thing, that's, a, that's math, just math. that's a math problem. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> that's bad. math, um, but also remember your abilities. Around. Yeah, yeah. yeah remember, the talisman is a Warlock thing, yeah. The so, talisman like, is, uh, but like... Okay. Class features in general are just class there's, features. There's I, a, so, there's, there's a reason I didn't go into STEM. Yeah, we saw that Monday, yeah. So now that math issue and realization of abilities have come forth, Janella. It's quite a journey. Okasu's just like, huh? Ooh, huh? Ooh, hey? just Ooh, what? What's interesting, Okasu, what you see, as I said before, Eden coming up quite quick. Her fur shimmering with magic, similar to how um, Novell's wounds, as she described. And you watched as her paw, holding this magic, oddly enough, slapped her in the face. And immediately your eyes go to Janella. And you actually do feel this kind of pulse of magic. And you watch as... Janela's eyes return to how they once were. The color, she seems to have that coloration to the skin that is vibrant and gives you the idea of she is alive. Usually she had this kind of pale expression. But now it looks entirely different. Janela. You are free of the curse. Let's go! But with freedom from this curse means the loss of all of its benefits. Oh, fuck. And you feel <laughs> your magic begin <laughs> to wane. But you do feel a tiny what? tether <laughs> towards the second key line that somehow, during this entire time, held strong. Oh, so Athos? That's that's her new warlock patron. <laughs> Bitch, my patron is a fuzzy monster. What do you mean monster? Have patron you of the team squad. Is, I was gonna say it's one of Athos quads. So that's the yeah. patron. Oh my god! Amazing. <laughs> that is such a good patron. A patron Which one? Athos the right or the left? Rippling. My at my patron is Athos's rippling bicep. <laughs> <laughs> We all just we all just claim Athos muscles of a <laughs> Which one? Muscle one or muscle two? <laughs> so while some of you are celebrating victories, you hear a cracking sound. Uh oh. And you watch as the world once again reverts to this dark inversion. Rostri, given that you are the closest, you watch as the woman before you shifts again to that almost banshee-like form, her wings becoming almost decrepit and look. She looks to you and smiles. You'll never free her. <laughs> Sunny, it's your what? turn. What? Oh. The fight doesn't know her. Yeah, okay. Sunny starts spacing out when she, you know, has just made a very, very big lie to Athos and he didn't even bother to call her on it. She's like, okay, I guess I just get away with that now. Um, so I'm going to go <laughs> attack. There's so many icons on the screen. I 
<laughs> so the only one that's technically the left yeah, it's the lady. is the fairy godmother. All right. You have heard nothing, really. That's okay. I'm just going to turn your around. head. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to turn you around. Look at her. Look at Athos and kind of shrug. And then, like, raise my sword and just, like, banshee scream my way over to her. And attack. <laughs> what the fuck, Sunny? She's tied up! I'm Roll raging. with advantage. Yeah, so, you, so you can I'm advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she could die. Oh, that's a nat 20 on my advantage. <laughs> so, Rashtri is, like, yelling. <laughs> I love you, Kelly! You have no idea how much I love you right now. And let's not oh, forget those two, extra, those two extra those two extra D6s. Let's not forget those. Alright. And my, my rage bonus. So, uh, <laughs> that's 26. On my first attack. Mm -hmm. What was the okay? What's the whole damage again? It was twenty six. Twenty six. Mm -hmm. And that was one swing. Oh, and that and literally no one's trying to stop her. And how she's still do you raging. want? Uh, how would you like to paint the scene? Like trips, technically try to stop you, violence. But like, I mean, whatever. but how hard is the question? Hmm. Also, given the how now she's Sunny's positioned. not gonna have to feel bad about this, right? This woman is clearly not nice. Yeah, no, no. This version of the mm -hmm. woman clearly not nice. Kill this version. No. Okay. You saw I'm... undead, you went, I need to kill mm -hmm. is what was in your head. Yep. So you're, Sunny goes you're... running over, um, kicks her over. Because she's tied up. <laughs> she's tied up. She kicks her over. And she... <laughs> you, go you guys are gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> I love it. I'm I'm I so happy. It. Please, Sunny just screams at her. You made me miss lunch, and like <laughs> just stabs her straight down while she's on the ground because you teleported and she missed lunch. It's true. She did. She's miss hangry. Lunch. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So that's 26. Um, do I need to continue to no. <laughs> hurt her? No. Rostri's just standing there, like, probably holding this hunk of, like, fairy godmother hair. Like, I can't believe you You definitely that. have got blood all Wait, over you, you too, were, by the way. You were dragging- <laughs> hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We cannot- we cannot just walk Wait. past this. You were dragging know. her by her hair? <laughs> just, just wait. One hand in the <laughs> hair, one hand on the ropes. Yep. Yeah. Just wait, guys. I haven't done um, got a, ball spot. a scene yet. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So. Sunny stab Sunny stabs her. Poor Rasha gets arterial spray all up her outfit. Oh, just wait. You know. Chop her arms off. I hope the blood's not acidic. Rashi. You watch as the entire area goes dark again. And then once again you feel that deep fear that sense that something is wrong entirely you, sunny. wrong and for a split second out of the corner of your eye at first you're like oh they're gonna come help me then you watch as sunny comes up grabs her i don't grab her i Puts... kick her okay you kick her uh-huh i was going to let me finish here. No. Really? Fine. Uh, as I was saying, you pick her up and then you push her down just as your blade slams right into her heart. Rashi. For a second, you start to panic. But those words kill in darkness. And you watch just as Rosh, uh, uh, Sunny pulls her blade out, and the fairy godmother lays there, unmoving. And then you watch as the scene shifts back, and this time there's a piece in the air. 
And I have to change the music because, yeah. And you watch as suddenly her form shifts. That gaudy outfit goes to a more plain, simple dress in cotton. That is just something that you would find anywhere. It's warm fitting. You also watch as her wings shift to that butterfly form that you saw for ever a second. And you watch as she leans forward and looks at you, smiles, <sighs>, laughs. That hurt, but thank you. And it's at this point that you actually see, similar to that one individual you fought in the mines, suddenly that purple kind of veins start to go up her neck. She looks at her hand, those same veins are there. I don't have much time. And you watch as she, her eyes go directly towards Eden. He's coming. He knows where she is. Do, Do we all hear this? Uh, let's see. Sunny, Rashi are the only ones who hear this because she's talking softly. Okay. And this happens so quickly that you all are kind of confused right now, except for those okay. two. Okay, sorry. Oddly enough, Sunny, you actually come back to your right mind and you feel refreshed. Hmm. And she's still looking at Eden. Do not let them get her. And you watch as she starts to seize in pain. And she looks to Rashi and says, Beware. The fateful roads are... And just before she's able to finish her sentence, those purple veins take over. And you watch as she turns to a sickly purplish green dust. And she vanishes. Mm. It's at this point that you feel the magic around you begin to crack, shatter, as this plane of existence begins to break down. Rosh, do you know that when the creator of a demi plane happens, it disappears? Time to go, gang! <laughs> Let's get what, out of what here. Happened? What the fuck happened? Just, just go, get to the portal and go. Get out. Get I'm, out. I'm kind of trapped right now. Janella. Just as things started happening, in the back of your mind, you hear her voice. I'm so sorry before it fades away. What the frick? Okay, um, let's go, let's get out. Wait, where's Chess? I... I, I oh, I like get up here and I, I hold the cage up. I'm okay, like, cool, let's, let's go. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You can I, all I, go. I was, you I heard the three. Let's go now. I, <laughs> I hear you say this, and I just keep you pinned to the ground, uh, and I'm like, I'm not going to slap you like the fox did. Are you okay? Is yeah, it, are I'm you safe? Good. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you. I appreciate it. I I'm good. I'm back. Sorry that I threw so many spells and shit. I don't think I can anymore. Can we go now, please? It's at this point that Eden is grabbing uh, your cape and trying to drag you, Ocasio. Like, we need to go now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eden holds on to 
Eden holds on to Ocasio's cape as as he jumps. <laughs> yeah, if, if, she does. Uh, if she'll like She's crawl got like onto my shoulders or whatever, I'll be like, okay, Jenna, I could probably get this a little faster. And uh, if you'll consent, I will use the remainder of like my jump ability to like try and get us there faster. Since it's yeah, you are able yeah, to sure. do that. Sure. <laughs> Can Eden just be in your hood, <laughs> in the hood of your cape, just hanging out? Yeah, she's like trying to climb up and she'll like pull it off of my scalp and just like ha- yeah. burrow in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what she does. She basically, it's weird how, you don't know how she was able to do it, but you kind of figure that she's done this enough with um, <laughs> Novell and um, Autos that you're like, that's an interesting I'm, skill. I'm picturing this like snark and banter between Ocasio and Janela, and Ocasio's like trying to be like all hard and like intimidating, but like his head just keeps on getting tilted back <laughs> as it gets pulls his head and the ears, <laughs> and then like snaps like a rubber band back mid conversation. Wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you're an owl. Yeah. <laughs> my, you're so my friend, owl. you're an owl. <laughs> I look like an owl, but I still have my ears. They're just oh, illusory. <laughs> So it's, it's even like, more weird. Well, because no, no, no. Oh, I God. mean, like it's still like my physical body hasn't changed. It just looks like an yeah. owl's head is go- is like snapping back okay. and forth. Oh, so Sunny is in a rage. It's really weird to everybody else. Well, Sunny was in a rage when he turned into that. So Sunny is kind of seeing this for the first time as they're running to the portal. She's like, Sunny was run- absolutely. Sunny was absolutely not in a rage. No. We did this before we've been entered the yeah, house. It was, yeah, that's, that's right. There's yeah. two owls, technically. There's two owls. That is how there's two. two. The owl One of them is just like bunny. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> bunny food food. I'm not sure. With a fox I, and a wolf. You don't know, you don't know if that's Nouvelle or Ocasio. <laughs> <laughs> the hot face it away. Yeah, Rossi's Rossi's over here like, you, you made such a mess. Oh my god. Sorry. What? And she's gonna, as they're running, she's going to take like a piece of Rostri's dress that's already got all the blood on it and wipe off her sword. She's like, it was already dirty. <laughs> <gasps> what are you even doing? Just, Actually, just go. <laughs> the fairy godmother's blood vanished. Well, that's no it's fun. Gone. Yeah, it's no fun. Mm. This, this is like <laughs> magical dry cleaning. No, the other blood of the other creatures. That's oh, okay. So, there. Yeah. so unfortunately, your dress now does have blood on. It. No, <laughs> no. Well, it didn't before. <laughs> I see her like grab the dress and start to move it toward her sword. It's like no. Well, then hurry <laughs> up. Less, less it's... arguing, more getting in the fucking portal. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yes, you do have blood, but you yeah. don't see it on your dress because it's behind you. And that's what <laughs> From it is. Att- how big? Death how, of the other creature. how big is Rostri? Like regular human size. Okay, I'm I'm much bigger than regular human size. Yeah. So mm-hmm. she's just gonna pick Rostri up and just like <laughs> fireman carry her towards the portal. <laughs> Rostri, <laughs> you are actually kind of shocked of how. Um, physically built sunny is at first look you don't you see she has muscles but now being carried it's just like holy shit i wish that oh my god (laughs) is that nouvelle is that nouvelle saying that or fair saying that the world will never know (laughs) i feel like rastri's rastri's halfway between like awe and disgust like I don't know how I feel about I'm it. I'm used to that. Yeah. Yeah. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. But Sunny yeah. Car- like runs her to the portal. And um, my owl also flies and yeah. joins the, the rest of the group as mm-hmm. we like boing, boing, boing. There's just so many owls in this place. So many owls. At least they didn't. Oh, shit. Is that what you uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was at least they didn't kill the tied up woman oh okay that, I, well, I, I was, went the wrong way with it completely <laughs> I just thought you were going to say at least they did shit <laughs> so anyways you it all... shits as it goes through the portal <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunny shit <laughs> wait no, does that make no. it like a multi-dimensional okay shit? stop it if it's a bunny shit it's a bunny pellet I raised right. rabbits that's what well, I, I mean. Anyways. That's what I mean. Yeah. Owl pellet, anyways. bunny pellet, whatever. 
<laughs> okay, I'll stop. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, you guys all are able to uh, get through the portal just as it links out of existence and goes dark. All of you are looking at each other in shock, in awe. Novell, as you're holding the cage, you watch as suddenly it begins to dissolve. And given your reflexes, you're able to catch Chesh just before he drops, okay. as it completely disappears. I like. I'm like. I got. I got. I got you. I got you. And you watch as he just kind of leans back. Well, that was not fun. You're telling me. I'm going to have to. He kind of pauses, looks at all of you, recharge, but I all owe you a great debt. Uh, fuck me. And you watch Would you as- like to get in my bag? Oh, he just clears his throat. <clears throat> yeah? Just before he's about to pass out, he kind of looks at Akasi and goes, Let me recharge. And I will give you a gift better than what I promised before. Night. Ooh. And you watch Warlock as he just kind of just... shifts to go over um, Novelle's shoulder. And for a second you see a cat, but then you see a secondary sh scarf oh, wrap around you. Mm. As you feel a weird warmth. I'm that like goes somebody's away for a second. Somebody's theater teacher. <laughs> Just too many scarves. <laughs> too many scarves. <laughs> too many scarves. <laughs> and Janella, in the back of your head, you hear. Give me some time, and I will continue our deal. Okay. Okay. I'm also, sleepy. Uh, Good night. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good night. And so, uh, can I pick Eden up out of Ocasio's hood? Yeah, you can. Okay. And she looks kind of um, nauseous. Like there's have... a little bit of green to the side of her fur of her face. Oh no, I, I just stroke her cheek, and then I think I'm like, wow, I have so many animals right now. <laughs> yeah, you have a cat. I got a cat scarf and a fox, um, but I'll and like- And the owl actually kind of lands on your head, too. Oh, great. I'm like a Disney princess. Perfect. Um, I didn't even you have to sing princess. to have this happen to me, so. Um, so. I like kind of squeeze Eden and say, thank you. Thank you, Papa Janela. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a paw just... print here on Janela's cheek. Actually, oh, there is God. currently. <laughs> A slightly glowing paw print hand on her cheek. And in your head, Novelle, you hear, Eden. I will never ride on the back of that rabbit's shoulders. Oh god, I'm gonna puke. Oh, yeah. And you watch the bag as look, she goes makes... uh, into a corner and just yeah. hurls. Yeah. In, in, her, oh, in my no. head, I'm lying, just like, I guess she'll never complain about the bag again. <laughs> the bag's can you put me down now, please? Oh, wait. <laughs> I get off of Costa's back, too. Like, oh, shit, I'm sorry, dude. Sunny. Sunny, you can put me down. <laughs> oh. Puts her you down. Can... <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks. Um, uh, th thanks, guys, for that. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I, I uh, don't know what to say. Um, so thank you. Um, I don't think there's anything for you to say. No. We're, oh we're, wait, let me try we're... something. And she's gonna try to catch like Eldritch Blast past everybody, like to the wall. Just I think. To, like, I think we've had enough magic. Yeah. 
When she, like, as she's raising her hands. We've, nothing happens. (sighs) Janelle raises her hands and we're all like, (laughs) (laughs) we're all like, ah! Uh, She's gonna wave her hands to try to make stuff happen. I just, yeah, well, I just instinctively I roll... cast silvery barbs as she's doing yeah. that to just make sure I like, she I, misses us. I hide, I hide and sneak attack Janela. <laughs> no, thank you. Around. No, thank you. Um, well, that's interesting. I'm fully useless now. Um, well, Chess said to give them some time yeah. to recharge before they can help you so yeah give them some you time could a, you could just recharge i think i have a night a yeah i think that we all well most of us could i could eat to be honest i could have a night. same yep i could eat too food mm-hmm. i'm hungry yeah and she walks out the door now oh. follow sunny I mean, y'all know that Sunny's. If you follow yeah. Sunny, you're gonna find food. I mean, that's mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. She knows all the great she places. She's food she'll driven. Eat. <laughs> I, I follow oh, Sunny. I walk outside and I I like salute and greet the owl who I copied my disguise self from. Still looking like them. <laughs> oh, you I, know what? As Sunny as Sunny walks by that owl, she just goes and she runs up to her real quick and goes, "Ocasio, come on! We're going for lunch." <laughs> then she keeps walking. As this happens, I well, I scoop up Eden and then I also walk out looking like the exact same owl. <laughs> <laughs> giving this thus therefore poor giving owl. this owl giving this owl an identity crisis for sure. <laughs> and enough, probably he looks at you guys as he sees two of himself. You just see his head go up. And goes like this and goes. This is basically... Like he, it's that look that of someone who has seen this happen to him multiple times. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a Tuesday. This, I will yeah. let you know. This has sparked a new campaign, and it's gonna be him trying to, like, kill all of his, like, um, his doppelgangers. I actually rolled to see if he's been through this, and I rolled a nat 20, saying yes. This has Alchemist happened to Prime. him a lot. He's Alchemist Prime. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yep. one. It's which, yeah, gonna be a new campaign that's like, owl. oops, all alchemists. Which one is the real one? Or do they develop their own personalities? We will see. Assassin. Maybe we'll have a one shot. I don't know. Anyways, and so, Sunny, you take mm. the group to one of your favorite alchemists restaurants in the city they make um, exploding drinks they no, do thank you but also they also meat. have the imposter brew which like is Pop really Rocks? well known as one of the most interesting alcohols in the city of Dam- uh Damarel. what is it called uh imposter brew and for those who taste it for some of you i'll taste it it's one time for your first sip. It tastes like a really rich apple cider. Hard apple cider. Next time, it's like a Long Island iced tea. The next time, it's re- the really good vodka. And every time you take a sip, it changes its flavor. Oddly enough, with each sip you do, it gets more and more flavorful. Which is why they only give you one mug of it. I will, uh, I'll take my sips and then I'll encourage the group in a toast and, uh, just to celebrate our win if the group is down for that. And then I'll still in owl form look over at Nouvelle <laughs> and kind of say, like, do you think that Alchemist was the one that we are supposed to? The reason that we came to Damarel, that we're supposed to update about the materials that are going to be late? Well, I don't know, but, I mean, luckily he won't recognize us. I think as I say this, the disguise self it like, ends. Yeah. yeah. I was just, looking at <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just, just as you guys like sit you... down, that's when it goes. 
you reveal as your <clears throat> <clears throat> selves. We should probably can go I, to that. Yeah. Can I, like, hold, like, a little bit of ale or something up to, like, chest that is a scarf? <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. Chest that is a scarf. Well, I'm just trying to everybody I'm else. It's just feed him. a scarf. Wow, this is my patron now. Sorry, Janella. It sucks to be you. <laughs> Honestly, that is absolutely fine. I'm cool with sharing. No, no, I don't share. <laughs> um, Get a new well, one. then you can have it. That's fine. <laughs> a gift. Okay, so you guys all sit down. Have de a delicious meal for Ocasio. You have this amazing, like, almost sculpted fruit salad. That when you when it was brought out, you're like, oh my god, <clears throat> can I eat this? And when you eat it, the different petals taste like different types of fruit, and it's mm. really filling and really enjoyable. For Sunny, do you have the sweet chicken? That. The more you eat it, the more taste of honey in springtime. For Rashi, you have a really interesting stew that makes you feel like you're back home. The warmth and also that nice cold light. For Atos, you eat something that is makes you feel like you're back in the hunt, back home. That every bite you get that feel of adrenaline rush, but also peace. Nouvelle. Yours is interesting. Which each bite. It's this really interesting fish type of dish. And at first you remember home, but then as you continue eating this meal, you start to feel things are changing. There's something more out there for you. Witchy. Oddly enough, what you're brought out. Janella? Who's Witchy? Oh, Janella. Shoot. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is uh, conking out. Long day <laughs> prepping for this. Uh, anyways, uh, Janella. You get a really interesting, almost home-cooked meal that you would see back at home. And it makes you a little melancholy for your sister that you loved. And as you're eating it, you just feel that connection to Chesh slowly begin to get more and more stronger. Very little right now. But, you know over time, with rest for both of you, given what you both have gone through. You feel that things are going to be okay. Oddly enough, Novelle, hmm? you have a strange craving for honey. You don't know where it came from. But, we leave off with our heroes after a hard day battle, a search for a lost friend, sitting down to celebrate their victory and the release of a captured soul. But on the horizon, a darkness is coming. And so we leave it here for the end of book one. Of Tales uh, the, of Room. Book one ends with Nouvelle saying, I think Sunny's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Nouvelle? Can I have... Actually? Yeah, can I have you roll me a quick uh, d20? Oh god. Okay. Rostri is examining her dress like, she actually did rub off on me. That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for joining us tonight uh, for our final um, chapter of this book. And so, 
it has come to a close. And if everything goes well and we're able to get our schedules together, we'll most likely come for a book two to find out what other mm -hmm. stories we can learn and what other mysteries. And so I am your GM, Kitty. I have been everybody else other than our players and even the environment itself. So uh, you guys can find me <laughs> on Twitter. And hopefully, once things kind of calm down, I will be picking up streaming again, doing uh, different games and such, because a certain someone had to buy me another game. And not naming names. But anyways, uh, thank you all. And so, we're going to do uh, it again backwards. So, Witchy, our dear friend who went through shit tonight fucking hell yeah um that was the worst i've ever rolled in a very long time um time. yeah i'm i'm yeah. witchy uh i played janela tonight which is a joy and one of my most favorite characters i ever got to play so thank you guys for letting me play with you guys um you can find me at uh witchy 98 on twitter or witchy 98 one on twitter i always forget um I am on a podcast called Good Morning Thetis. We finally released our um, part two to Dwarves of Dragon Age. So if you want to see my buddies talk about dwarves and lore and all that fun stuff, you could check it out on uh, Good Morning Thetis on Anchor, or you could go on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Um, I'm also coming up. I I I don't know. I'm help. Uh, there's other things coming up, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. But I know for sure that <laughs> I am uh, also an Apex manager for Anti Angels Esports. So if you guys want to watch anything that's going on with them, you could check them out on Twitch at Anti Angels. And I think that's it right now. More stuff coming soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. Rashi, you're up. So I am Trieste, also known as Blaze of Gloriosa. Uh, <laughs> no worries. Um, I am on a streaming hiatus right now. So if you want to go ahead and catch me streaming, the only place you can find me um, right now is D4 RPG, which is where Utharian Legends streams every other Sunday. So this coming Sunday is one of our game days. Um, very excited about that. Um, also follow me on Twitter for whenever I resume streaming, that kind of thing. Um, I also wanted to take a second and thank you, uh, thank you very much, Kitty, for giving us such a great campaign to play in, and you've done a lot of hard work. This is my first time that I've been one of your players, and it's been an absolute joy. So, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Okay, next up is Juice. Hi, I'm Juice. No pronouns, just Juice. I have been your alchemist, gloomstalker, bunny dude, rescue ranger, Ocasio. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Twitch at the Juice TM, and on Saturdays you can find me over on Rolling D's Twenties for our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, along with Bear, uh, which is at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, over on Rolling D's Twenties Twitch. You can uh, also follow them on Twitter, and. That's my only other current show. So come check us out. We will have another show this Saturday. Okay. Up next is Fair. Hi, I'm Fair, and I've been Princess Nouvelle Dustbane, your arcane trickster rogue. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at FairBear. Uh, tomorrow night, you can find me over on Chaotic Tiefling ATL, 8 p.m. Eastern for... Thirsty Sword Lesbians, which is also uh, having its final episode tomorrow. Um, Saturdays, as she said, you can find me over on Rolling D's 20s, 9 p.m. Eastern for Philly by Night. And Tuesdays, you could find me over on Fortner.com at uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern for uh, Dreadful Tales Arc 2, where I play uh, Urkira Stormslayer, your Oath of Glory Paladin. 
Um, keep an eye out on my Twitter. I have a lot of other things coming up that haven't been announced yet, but are super exciting. So that's where you'll know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Okay, Rafiki, you're up. Hi, I'm Rafiki. I'm the founder of the channel. Uh, I play here usually whenever we have a campaign or run it. I want to take and give a big thank you to Kitty for giving me a little bit of jamming break and should be back and hopefully in the near future with more content I know I will be back not well maybe next week I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play it by ear uh, but next the following week and the weekend of the 9 29th uh, with our anniversary January event you don't want to miss that it's gonna be fun it's gonna be chaotic. There's gonna be a lot of games with a lot of cool people. We're very excited about that. Uh, but yeah, but I'll besides be there for one of them, mm -hmm. as a yeah. player, me yeah. too. Me three. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> but outside of that, I, uh, I guess professional composer because I got paid here and there for some stuff. So I guess it makes me professional. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And I've been playing a toast, the slightly tall line boy paladin. And it was super fun. Possible warlock patron. Yeah. Of the quads. No, that would be the bicep. The biceps? Or quads. Yeah. Just one the quad god. The quad god. <laughs> Those. <laughs> okay, so Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly, uh, mostly known as the Opera Geek online. Uh, you can find me at the Opera Geek on Twitter. This coming week, I have moderately overscheduled myself with uh, part two of Kitten Heist Waterdeep on Monday night with Cypher of Tear. Um, Tuesday is going to be super fun because it is going to be a one shot premiering Harlem Unbound, um, the Call of Cthulhu expansion. Mm -hmm. um and then wednesday is something that they haven't announced yet so i can't say it but it's with the stream punks so yeah we big week and somehow i've <laughs> got to get my house clean before my parents show up but other than that <laughs> i wish you uh, luck on that uh, yeah right I really um do. yep hey if but, you can do uh, it for me you can do it for them Mm -hmm. Yes, but I just shoved everything in the bedroom when you were here because I closed the oh. door. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference between parents coming and friends coming. Yeah. You'll probably look in the bedroom. No, just shove it all in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, thank you. Are you done, Kelly? I am done. Okay, awesome. So anyways, thank you all for coming and as a little bit of a send-off. Novelle, that night you're sleeping. You wake up feeling weird. Slightly, you feel slightly taller. You're not sure. You kind of feel a little bit furrier. <laughs> and then you go back to bed and don't think about it anymore. And that is where the epilogue of book two ends. Oh man! Hey, uh, hey, audience! This is just to let you know. If, if you say one thing, it kind of in passing, your DM may give it to you. So always shoot your <laughs> shot. Thank you so much. Look, I'm not explaining that to your parents. Just... You're dealing with that. <laughs> as I keep saying to everybody, every action has consequences, positive or negative. And well, consequences letter here. If Anyways. I had a green card, I would be holding it up right now. Oh, I have one. Just use an Uno card like I do. Yeah, do it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, sure Anyways, the thank you all for the, coming tonight. The outro music is, I wish I was a little bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> if I could do that, I would have had that prepped. But anyways, thank you all for coming, and we'll hopefully see you in book two. Whenever Have that will night. Bye, bye everybody, so and thank you for joining us for this entire book series. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.